Okay, this is not my presentation of the evolution of the phantom in Mexico. And uh, I'm going to start in uh, 1810. 1810? Mm. They, they were uh, like colored form. This is that, but it, uh, it, they, like you can see, they were the woman were dressing uh, like a short sleeves, uh, showing her neck, her neck, and with a crown and jewelry. And the men, In the same year, they they had a short hair and the um, sideburns. It was a fashion in men. Okay. And then between the time of the independence, they when the Arch Archduke Maximilian of Austria arrived in Mexico. Uh, the fashion was uh, uh, a bit more as austere. They, they didn't change anything. They just keep the same fashion. Uh, for a small amount of time. And then in 1864, uh, when Maximiliano and Carlos arrived to, to Mexico, uh, uh, the European fashion uh, influence was the Mexican, so they were to the high level position. So they were wearing a nice material, and like they, their hair was there. Like they were, <laughs> they looked so clean and neat. And then between uh, 1867 and 1911, uh, the wool and skin fabrics from France, uh, linens from Germany, uh, it was so famous in that, in that place. This is a, a picture. Just. This is a picture of the low position. And they always were wearing hats and uh, the clothes. The, the clothes uh, was cheaper. The material was cheaper, and they were wearing sandals, like in the low level position of uh, Korea. Made by by Paul. And then for the for the woman, this was so famous. The the heel and the push for me push for me. They, they manufacture their own clothes, and it was colorful, and it was warm to see here. And then in the 60s and 70s, the creation of simple design and, and the use of cheap materials was so famous. And in the 60s, all the people like, dressed like cheap. And in the 70s, they were using uh, this material that is so soft. It's silk. Silk, that looks like, uh, I don't know if that would be silk, but yeah, it's. Uh, Maybe like uh, I'm not sure, but it's. Uh, what fashion is that? What do they call that? 70s. 70s was. Rock and roll. Disco. Yeah. That is disco. That is not punk, that is disco. It says punk, but 
I that all the pictures were like that. No, that's definitely disco. But I don't know. I was looking if the fashion was with the hair like. Oh, that's punk for sure. But uh, I don't think that it was in that day. But I don't mm -hmm. know. Well, 60s, 70s, and 80s, punk came came alive, yeah, for sure. But yeah, you're looking at hippies for sure, looking at 60s, love fest, 70s, discotheque. And then, in what do you think? In what seems the fashion in 323 decade to today? Mm -hmm. So that was, we're looking at the feather that is indigenous? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think that is similar? Nothing. Nothing? Something is similar? Mm -hmm. Sorry, it, okay. The similitude is that the ancient Indians had to be part of high society, society to use certain items. So to look like a uh, higher position, they had to use that cloth. And now, uh, it's not part of that high society, like, she has to wear that clothes, because if she doesn't use that clothes, she's not going to look like high level position. Ah, I see, so it's, it's all in the clothing, it's always been the clothing. Very good, excellent. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Do we have any questions? Excellent, please. Can you explain one more time? The period and the. I didn't remember the. pictures. You had the first lady in the chiffon with the neck showing. And then this is the picture I wanted you to explain a little more because you've talked about her quite a bit. So he, she's wearing a chiffon dress, uh, short sleeves and a neck showing. Now show the gentleman. Show the next slide. She's, uh, she's uh, Josephine. Okay, she's the, the, wife, the queen. The wife of Bonaparte. Uh, he, she's the wife. So all the high uh, Society. The upper class what are using clothes like hair to okay. imitate? Ah, I see. So, and for this gentleman, the next one. Now, what is that he's wearing? He's got. Talk about the the clothing he wore. What kind of material would he be wearing? Do you know? No. Because that it's looks a, like velvet. Huh? It would it's, be like it's, a, it's, ve it's velvet. Yeah. Yeah. It's velvet. It's and kind of like ten like in the in one uh, piece of clothes is the blazer, but the blazer has a. In in the only one piece, kind of vest with velvet, 
mm -hmm. and long neck. Yeah, the long neck. That's very interesting because uh, we like see that every once in a while still in some fashions uh, that sort of coming back. But I, I'm just interested that the the man, the females were exposed, and yet the men were all enclosed up to their neck, right? right. Which is usually now yeah, it's different. <laughs> usually the men are like blah blah blah, and the women are like, oh, don't show you women. <laughs> so this is uh, interesting to see that they actually uh, they enjoy the beauty of a woman by showing neck and skin, which is interesting compared to some cultures where they cut everything back and the men are open and, and cool, right? Because I'm just looking in, in this, but wouldn't that be very hot for him, though? I would think. And he's going to wear that in the daytime in the middle of a Mexican summer as well, right? The design was so special. Mm -hmm. like, I think that the person that made like all the people that work uh, to make the clothes, they spend so much time because it has like, special... Handmade, yeah. stitched velvet, yes. They had no machines to make it, right? Yeah. So everything was handmade. I also enjoyed the... Uh, go down to the common uh, people's uh, nowadays... Or, yeah, one more. The next one where the girls made the bright... These ones here. Now, these are uh, very beautiful. And those are all... That would be a common common people would wear that, or is this? No, it's uh, low position. Low position. That's what I mean. Common. Oh, It'd be okay. common, not royalty. Oh, yes. So common, low position. And these are very bright and beautiful. Now let's con contrast that to the uh, your Korean. Uh, look at the the colors that they were allowed to wear as a common people, handmade and celebrating life, right? where they weren't in, in Korea, as we looked at his uh, presentation, they were gray and white and stayed that way and weren't allowed to have yeah. colors, right? So Nowadays, in my city, I don't know if in Rodrigo's city, uh, some people in lower position, they, they used to use this kind mm -hmm. of clothes. But they live in the forest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they live in the... Yeah, they don't... Uh, but they still have bright colors, and that's so in, that's so nice to see. Even if you're in a low position, and you don't have much, you can make your own materials from what's given to you in the land, basically, because they're taking it from the land, right? They're hand dyeing them with the colors from that they can get out of different uh, collections, and maybe saving up money for comfortable shells and stuff like that. But making it beautiful, anyways, you know, even if you are at a lower status, you can still say, hey. I don't need that to make myself look colorful and be bright in life. So. But for example, now uh, the people use uh, something similar to carry their babies, ah, okay. but it's just with one color. Mm -hmm. But in my city, the the low position, they use something similar like this to do the same to carry their babies, mm -hmm. but with many colors. Oh yeah, and it's handmade. Yeah. Well, the tra these traditional clothings, these handmade clothings, are, are rare to see. And when people go down and they see them, they want them, they buy them. And right. that is a, also a, probably an art to, to be able to make these clothing and sell them on the streets to make money, right? I don't know I mean, if that's... Now it's so expensive because, um, like, the nicest brands, like, they use money. That's right. It's, they can pump them out really fast nowadays in this... Poor lady making this handmade cart yeah. makes a week to make one where they put out a thousand in one week. So yeah. the competition. Excellent. All right.